Hey there everyone, Bungle Dungle speaking. Today, we're not going to be adding chaos to your day. Today, we welcome a beautiful, beautiful game. Test Drive Unlimited with a catch. Welcome to Test Drive Unlimited Platinum. A mod that not only adds over 800, near 900 new cars, <coughs> but beautifully enhances the game. Now this game came out long time ago. I'm talking about 2000s. I don't remember when this mod came out. And I'm not going to say that I played this as a kid. Me and my dad used to play a test drive game or two, but we didn't know this existed. So, <coughs> welcome to this chill series. It's going to be a chill zone series where we just don't really have a goal. We're going to be here to have fun. And that's it. <coughs> Maybe we'll have a goal here and there. Maybe things might spice up, but for now... Let's go to the beautiful island of Oahu. Or... Oahu? Oahu. Oahu, sorry. Which is known to be home to Honolulu. We're gonna be taking a vacation, if you will. <coughs> so let's begin. Now, the reason it's so quiet here at the moment is because this is where music would play. I have that turned down. The passengers for flight 6814 to Honolulu are asked to please present themselves for boarding at gate C. Ladies and gentlemen, please have your passports and boarding passes ready for inspection. Now, <clears throat> we could actually select the character and customize them, believe it or not. But... I'm going to select this fella. We'll change him up when we're ready. I have no idea if the music in this game is copyrighted. I'm not going to lie. But, we are heading... We're just heading to Honolulu to start our, our um, vacation, if you will. You know, I don't think we need to see the intro. It's probably over already and I don't need to touch anything. No. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be shortly commencing our descent into Honolulu. The temperature on the ground is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies and 55% humidity. That's definitely going to be copyrighted, so we're going to skip that. We've made it to <coughs> a rental service. We start the game off with 200 grand and the ability to rent a car. <coughs> so, let's be a cheap ass. Let's rent it for only a thousand an hour, or a thousand for ten minutes. Get the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Because we're going to be buying a new car anyways. Good to have that extra money on you when you do that, right? Your itinerary is being recalculated. <clears throat> okay. And now... Put down the windows. Start her up. And we'll start moving. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now then. This game... It's got to be one of my favorites because of how good this mod is. Even without the mod, this game is great. We do have a goal for this episode, actually. That goal is... Your make enough money to buy a Pontiac GTO. At the next intersection, then... Right. What we do... Turn right. Is... Whoops. No. The first goal we have this episode... <clears throat> You'll see once we get our house and do our first race. It's going to be an adventure. But it's going to be worth it. Your We're going to need the money to do it. <clears throat> so I turn on the radio. Your destination is 1.5 kilometers away. 
I guess you change that when you're stationary. You don't want to wreck the car right now. We're going at a brisk 2 240 right now. No, you're going to find out very soon. If you've never played this game before, this game is massive. Oh dear, that's not a great way to start. <clears throat> but yeah, this game is absolutely massive. Like, there is no joke to how long it takes you to get some places. And how long the races are, but you know what? They're fun. Now let's get into this property. Um, salespeople, whatever. <coughs> okay. Now as you can see on the map, it's very small. But you can see it. We could either have... I don't want to risk mispronouncing it. I don't want to do an injustice like that. <coughs> but there are so many different places that we could purchase. I would like to go... For once, we'll start off in the city. I've never started off in the city before in this game, so it'll be refreshing. <coughs> Deal's been made. We now own a home. I've never seen this house before, so this is going to be new. Well, <clears throat> let's buy a car first, yeah? Now we have three dealers to choose from. An Alfa Romero dealership. An Audi dealership. And one that has Honda, Ford, and Volkswagen, Fiat... Peugeot, Peugeot, I don't know how to say it. Mazda and Chevrolet. <clears throat> We're gonna go here first, because there's a very nice car that I would like to buy. It's not the Miata, it's not even the, G the GT86, as much as you'd think I'd want to. It's this beauty. The Nissan 240SX SE has been a favorite of mine. Even in games like Carbon. Because it's just a nice looking car. It, it has that perfect look to it. <clears throat> so we're going to get some of those nice rims on it. We're going to give it that cherry red pearl. <clears throat> Can't change the color of the interior because there's no option, but that's okay. Here are the keys. Your itinerary Here's our new car. Recalculated. So, <clears throat> windows down, starter up, and let's get going. Now, nope, I'm already going the wrong way. Whoops. In the wrong <clears throat> Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Uh, please forgive the not-so-good driving at the moment. I do have all of the driving aids turned off because it does make driving these cars more fun. That's a personal thing, though. That's not a gameplay thing. I always turn off driving aids in video games because I feel I have no need for them. <clears throat> well, let's make our way to our, our first event without hitting a police officer. Is that suggestively? Darn. Okay. Now, I chose this car as well because there's something else really special about this car. And it's how uh, you could upgrade it. That is a lot of police in one place. I better... Hey, he smacked it at me. That's why I'm not in trouble. So, this car has some really nice upgrade options. <laughs> One of which is the first thing that I'm going to try and get. Your destination is one kilometer we, I have a little bit of a mental checklist for this episode, at least. Firstly, get a good sum of money. Secondly, upgrade this car. Thirdly, get some more money. And then lastly, we are going to go all the way... Well, I can't open the map now, but we're going to go very, very far Turn right. so I can go to a Pontiac dealer, so I can buy a GTO. Something that me and my dad you have adore. Your destination. And my dad sadly can't enjoy anymore. But that gives me all the more reason to go get one. <coughs> so, let's get started. We got an Escalade in this race, huh? <clears throat> okay then. <laughs> Let's go. 
Now, you may not think there's slipstream in this game, because of how old it is. <laughs> there is. It's just a little hard to notice right now, but if you're going top speed, or what you think is your car's top speed, and then you start going behind someone, you'll start to over-rev. <clears throat> Which is a good clear sign that it actually does work. That is one fast Escalade. <laughs> okay. Now, we're starting off slow. I, I know, you're probably thinking, this is slow. Whoops. Well, when I drive like that, yeah, it's definitely slow. But you're probably thinking that, that you're considering this slow. You go up to like 200 kilometers an hour. You do not know how fa just how fast you can get cars to move in this game. <clears throat> or rather, I think the mod actually drastically increases some speed with the cars. <laughs> not only for the sense of speed. You know what? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know because I didn't do any research into this mod when I first got it, thanks to uh, one of Kuru, Kuru HS's videos, so, you know, that's on me for not doing the research. But this is one of those games, hey, I'm getting Need for Speed, the movie flashbacks doing this. <clears throat> Jesse Pinkman waking the, making the race? No way, he's gonna win? But, <clears throat> yeah, anyways, I don't know much about this mod except for the fact that there's a lot of good, nice changes to the game and nearly 900 cars in it, which is beautiful. Got a love variety. This is basically for the, like Forza Horizon, earliest you're gonna get, probably. Now, this is Test Drive Unlimited 1. If anybody's actually interested in this game and wants to get it, <coughs> I, want, I, I will be happy to let you know that if I'm not mistaken, this game is now considered Abandonware. <laughs> Which means, simply put, <clears throat> it's like, you could find it on any abandoned ware site and it's completely 100% legal because the creators of the game no longer have any interest slash care for the game. And it's basically come down to letting people do what they want with it. I'm pretty sure that's what abandoned ware means. I can't recall. But nobody gets in trouble when a game is considered abandoned or it's just uploaded for free, from my knowledge, so... I mean, I got Train Town Deluxe, the 3D Deluxe, like a childhood game of mine from Abandonware. Recently, so, you know. <coughs> it's still there. And plus, you will never find it in stores again, so, you know. Out of cycle. No pay. It's just there now. You can get it just like you can get this game. Now, I would suggest when you install this, away. please read the readmes or whatever. Please take your time installing it. The first time I installed it, and did, I did it wrong, and I got confused, but now I know it's wrong. And I've fixed it since, so everything is going to work nice. And we're just going to have a good time. Your destination <clears throat> is two kilometers away. Oh yeah, this is the way to our new home, that's right. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> now, I want to let you guys know ahead of time, if you do get this mod, please enable V-Sync. I know that is pure blasphemy to hear, but hear me out. This is a 7th gen game. And if you, know, if you guys know anything about 7th gen games and how AI reacts to a game from that generation, it is tied to your frame rate. <clears throat> so, if you don't enable V-Sync, some cars your will be invisible. And, well, if you have a good computer, the, traffic's, the, the traffic is going to move faster than you could blink turn and left. do like three th million turns in one go. And stop in the middle of the road. You have <clears throat> and you know you don't want that. It doesn't change anything either in the game. It just... It's just a fix. Simple as that. So here's our new home. <coughs> we could have gotten the house, but again, I wanted to try this new place out. Now this game... <laughs> if you... 
screw it up a little bit. This game does cra like to crash, but also understand something nice. This game is really good at saving at every single turn. <clears throat> every time you open the mini-map, the game saves. That's how much it, you know, <laughs> that's, how, that's how much it saves, which is nice. Now then, this game has kind of a surprising amount of customization, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make my uh, funny cool, cool cool old guy midlife crisis dude. <clears throat> Not really midlife crisis, but... Hmm. You know what? That'll work. Why not? <laughs> Usually I'd give him a beard, but I think that works out into this time. <clears throat> I can't make fire. Which is like my PNG. The represent uh, me, so... Make somebody cool. And then just pretend where that's us. But... Let's go into the garage. So, think of this as like the Forza Vista, before Forza Vista even happened. So... Check this out. Put the windows at any level you want. Pretty cool. I can go all the way down too, yes. Opening the doors. I'm not sure why it's not working right now, but the doors do open. <laughs> Listen. Old game. It's forgivable, right? <coughs> but... We have an interior view. We could start our engine. Just to give it a good listen. Pretty good. All the backs of the cars are Model 2, which is nice. And we could also see details... Or data on the car. Or whatever car we got. Which we got a nice, we got a nice chart, you know. It's nice to see what your car is capable of, and we got the odometer here, in the car, in the game. <clears throat> it's nice to know how long you've gone with the car. Well, <laughs> now then, since we are done with that, <clears throat> it's time to go make some money. Let's start with this race. There's a lot of them we can start with. <clears throat> and this isn't one of those games where being first means you are the best of all time. I mean, you could choose to be, but you have reached your destination. we're here to have fun. Get some cars. It's just that. <laughs> okay. Nice to know that you have to start your engines um, before the race. I do like that. <coughs> okay. Now, I'm gonna let you know right now, we're not gonna do really, really good in this car so far. Because, well, we can upgrade it. But right now we can't, because we don't have the money to do it. <coughs> but, it's a good way to get yourself started. Getting the car to work for your favor in, in your favor, and you know, just get used to it in general. I love this. Watch this. Turn left. Beautiful. Turn left. But um, <clears throat> I think I've got all the basics down. I'll explain more as need be. Oh, whoa! Oh. <laughs> Careful now. Now. I don't like the third-person camera too much. I mean, to each their own. If you like it, go right ahead. But it doesn't work for me. Not in this game, at least. The FOV does feel off. But for now, or for the rest of the game, <coughs> we are going to be playing in first person. <laughs> or, you know, we get the chance to look at a car, right? I think that's good. Good excuse. Whoa! Dangerous. Very close. There's no damage penalty for the cars in this game either. <coughs> but for traffic, there is. <laughs> you could smack into a traffic and, like, 
wipe out every single fender on their car. Now you can already tell by the time we're not gonna we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna make it. In fact, our car's slipping out like crazy. <clears throat> it's, it's not fast enough. It's a little humbling, but it's fine. <laughs> we might actually not make this race at all, which is okay. It just goes to show that that means there are better options and upgrades to give to a car or many cars to do an event. <clears throat> As you see here, we didn't get anything, but that's okay. I do know some races that we can do. However, where's that pesky road? We need to go up there. Because there is an important part story Your that we need to go to. Is being now, I did play this game a good bit. I probably did like six recordings before doing this one, before I felt like everything started just right and everything's going well. <clears throat> By now, the game is fixed. I know the general location of parts for the cars that we are going to use. Your to start off with, at least. Away. And, um, parts that we Turn need for back. other cars. Now, there's one thing I'm going to say about this game. <clears throat> when the faster cars, when you go to race with them, especially rear-wheel drive, you got to be careful with Your them. Destination is 500 meters they will swing out so fast on you. If you don't have good control over them. <laughs> oh boy. But it's fun. Because that means it just toughens you up. You have reached your destination. Now, I can't go in here. Because this ain't for our car. However, this race right here is. But you'll understand that this dealership <clears throat> has Pontiac in it. Please remember, we're going to be getting a Pontiac GTO. There is also a tuning shop for the Nissan, I'm pretty sure, in this area. Yeah, it's around here. <laughs> I should remember that, at least. So, <clears throat> pardon me, we'll work our way up. We'll work our way up, upgrade this car, do more races so we can get more money faster. <laughs> and, you know... Bob's your uncle, I guess. <laughs> now, these races take a bit. 14 checkpoints. Pretty okay. They can have la lap knock uh, races in this game too, but you know what? They're not boring, they're fun. Because this game, it really feels like you need to keep on your toes with some of the challengers. <clears throat> like right now, I know it doesn't really look like it, <laughs> but... It'll, it definitely will start to look like it. Like, look at Chloe's car up there. She's more than likely to crash. Not because of her name, but like, it's just like the difficulty we're at right now. The level of race, like watch, see right there. Turn right. <clears throat> but you're just as liable to make a mistake if you're not careful. <laughs> well, she slammed into the back of our car, that's nice. There's a little glitch in the mirror there, but she's definitely here. She's coming up on the right, if I'm not mistaken, so I'll just take the inside. <clears throat> now, be weary. These left. roads will make you lift off. <laughs> so, if you do like the idea of not caving in your car around a tree or a road barrier, do try to slow down. Especially on steep turns like these, because, oh, they will matter. <clears throat> she, she's coming back. <laughs> nope. She may have spun out or crashed. I could hear the rev limiter going nuts on her car. Oh, well. That's just what happens sometimes. Let's see if I can drift this. No. We don't have nearly the acceleration nor the gearing to do that. Ah, come on. Because if I were to do a proper drift right now, I would spin the car out so fast. Like here, watch this. Okay, I didn't have enough speed for that drift. This is one of those games where you're not going to drift like it's blinking. 
you actually gotta properly drift in this game or else you're gonna have a bad time. Fun! That's just one of the styles you can do of racing in this game. It's all up to you. <coughs> oh yeah. I'm pretty sure this car's a front wheeler anyways, right? I can't remember every car that has front wheel, rear wheel, all wheel. At the next intersection. Oh well. Turn left. <laughs> turn left. Maybe an all-wheel drift would work. No. <coughs> right. I think we're a rear-wheel drive car then. Because we spun out way too early. No, way too easily. So <coughs> that's a good way for me to judge if it's front or rear wheel. How easily it spins out compared to how how understeery it is if you go to spin out. You will notice that the diffs on this car aren't locked either. Boy. It's a start, though. At the next intersection, turn left. <coughs> Alright, let's try this. No dice. No, oh, well. The drift didn't work like we expected it to, but again, that's fine. Well, we're about to finish this race. I know it starts off slow. You can forgive that, though. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we literally just started the game after all. Don't do it! <clears throat> okay. If only it were that easy to make 18 grand. Alright. The next one we have is this one. Your itinerary is being recalculated. <clears throat> I know I don't need a checkpoint for that, but I'm just so used to just checkpointing it regardless. It's nice to know that we get led right into our next race. 25 grand is a good number. So all we gotta do is be the first to cross the finish line. I see no problem with that. <clears throat> Got some nicer competition to go against, I'd say. Three, two, one, go! <clears throat> Trying not to- Whoa! What are you doing? So you gotta be careful with some of the drivers, because they- the really don't know what they're doing sometimes. Well, early on, I'd say. Not when there's me not knowing what I'm doing either. <laughs> oh well. Let's see if we can catch up. Which should be no problem if we really work at it. And avoid absolutely crazy stuff like that. See, we're fine. <clears throat> Our car is very underpowered, though. At the next <laughs> Compared to everybody else, I mean. For now. Turn left. Now, as you probably already noticed, you're spied on the menus. Every car has a rating system. Every race has a rating system as well. A class. They go all the way from F class to I think just A class. I. I'm drawing a little bit of a blank here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very relaxed right now after everything that happened in Need for Speed Carbon Battle Royale. I just did the finale for that earlier. And I'm rewarding myself by playing a relaxing game like this. <clears throat> oh, you got a little bit of a spicy one there. How about no? Whoa. <clears throat> now, this game is scary for At the next one intersection, major reason. So, remember when I said there's jumps in the road that you might want to hit the brakes on? Be careful. Well, this game has a fun sense of gravity. Fun being, oh my god, do you fall down fast and slam down hard on the ground. <laughs> it's probably done, I think, to be more realistic, like the, the cars in there aren't nearly as right. floaty as in some games when they leave the road. Right. But it's startling and jarring just how fast you can go, and then you'll be in the air and then slam down. <clears throat> like, At the next once you see us going on a more faster track, you'll understand what I mean entirely. But for now, we're just making money. <laughs> That's all we need. <clears throat> you can already hear the other cars do have nice sounds to them. At the next and my windows are closed too. Which, a beautiful thing about this game right. is this little attention to detail. Let's open the window. Wait, well they kind of think they're open right now. Listen. Hear the, the difference of sound? Turn left. Turn 
<clears throat> and that's not just for your car. Every outside sound that you would hear is... Well, you could hear it better with the window open. But for now, let's just close those windows. <clears throat> I know you could barely see that, but they were there. <clears throat> now you're probably wondering when I'm going to turn the graphics up for this game. <laughs> Hold your tongue. Reason being, this is how high they can go. But that's okay. This game was made really early on. <laughs> and you know what? This has a charm to it. Next intersection, turn left. Turn it almost left. feels like I'm looking at the landscapes of either Far Cry 1 or the first Just Cause even. <clears throat> it's got that uniquely timed look to it, if you get what I mean. Hell, if you're old enough to know what I mean, considering. I gotta remember, and like, not everybody's the same age as me playing PlayStation 2 or... At the next intersection, you know, turn right. Ye old computer games or... Turn right. Old Nintendo games at that point. Regardless, if you are younger, and you are at just learning about this snow, right. uh, or this kind of thing, and turn want to right. know more, you should honestly go take a look at some of the older games that came out. <clears throat> I know a lot of the new games today are just really good graphics and crazy gameplay, but sometimes... Sometimes just simple games like this do it. Like, I could absolutely be playing Forza Horizon 5 right now and be experiencing the same thing. Albeit with much more detail, more cars, this and that. But... Sometimes you just want to do it in a different way. <clears throat> now then. Let's go to the next track. Your itinerary is being recalculated. <laughs> I know that little old man rant about uh, games really Your does. Is one kilometer really away. does make me sound older, but no, no, I'm late twenties. It makes sense, but to, for people to think I'm older, but to be fair, <clears throat> it's always good to see where. At no, you know what? Let me word this properly. Ahead. Whenever you pick up, like, one of the newer games, it's always good to, like, just once in a while, not even play it, even just watch videos or read up on the older games that came before all this stuff, just so you can see what other stuff may have influenced some of these games that came out today. <clears throat> There's an appreciation there that I can honestly say I have seen the younger generations see. They have seen that appreciation, and they Three, two, as well appreciate one, it, and it's go! nice. <clears throat> That's why a lot of, in my opinion, indie games are so good. It's because it's people who have grown up with those games and can appreciate a lot of what made them good to begin with. At the next intersection, <clears throat> turn right. Please forgive me, my throat's turn acting right. up today. I was doing a lot of screaming in that last episode for Carbon, okay? So I do have a little bit of a messed up voice right now. Ooh! <laughs> now that wasn't a glitch. I will let you know the uh, NPC reset their car, but that was the first time I've actually ever seen it do it in it, like an exact place like that, so please don't give the game shit for that. But it, But again, do yourselves a favor. If you're part of the younger generation, even if it, even if you're doing some reading up on it, <clears throat> here's an idea. Instead of me saying, oh, look at the older Turn games, ahead. just read up on random games, <clears throat> look up video games, or, sorry, let me try this again. I know, I'm stumbling all over my words today. I'm not really used to the casual kind of explanations. I'm not good at explanations to begin with blame the autism for that, honestly, but at the next try and see how many games you can find that have been influenced by other games. I know reading might not be the best thing that you want to do, or like, you may wish for a shorter video, but I'm going to be totally honest. I think a lot of people give you younger guys a lot more shit than you deserve, because there are a lot of you out there that I know are more than happy enough to read up on stuff, to learn, and it's just the really negative stuff that really gets pushed ahead 
Turn right. Because that's what everybody usually gives attention to. But, <clears throat> like I said, look up games that have been influenced by, other, by older ones, or like, you know, stuff in the same vein. Because a lot of your favorites, mine too, <clears throat> you may just find, had a lot, no, had something really nice inspiring it, or helping it along the way, you never know. Very poorly constructed little thing I said there, but I think the point At stands. The intersection, turn left. Turn left. <clears throat> it's a big old road to turn left on, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh well. <clears throat> if I get more talking points, I'll probably throw them out there. You know what? Speaking of people who, um,. Basically, you get screwed over by everybody saying, Oh, this generation's screwed. I don't believe that. There's Everybody says, well, TikTok kids, that. iPad kids, this. I honestly don't really think it's as bad as people make it out to be. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to say, Oh, this YouTuber you may like, or your favorite YouTuber is, like, talking out the rest. I'm just gonna say it from, like, gr this from, like, ground level and from what I've seen. <laughs> like, sure. I have seen people use the ter I have seen kids use the terminology here and there. <clears throat> but, in all honesty, there's no maliciousness behind some of it. Like, oh... Like, like, like for example, my neighbors in my building... They, they're young, they play Among Us. And we had a talk about it one day in, like, Roblox rooms and stuff, and we're, like... We're, we're talking about, like, strategy and, like, how like how we can get through it, right? Because, let's be real. I play rooms, too, sometimes, if I'm really, really bored. <clears throat> and, well, if someone knows how to play it, and they're suddenly going to give you advice, then by all means, take it, right? The more you know. <clears throat> but... They unironically used the word, like, sussy to describe, like, one of the entities, and I'm like, and I'm thinking in my head, just first or split for a second at first, I'm like, damn, that was kind of weird. But then, you take a second and you realize there is no malicious intent behind a word like that. If anything, it's just like, this is someone from an older generation <coughs> saying like, oh, that's, that's lit, for example. <laughs> it's just a word. It's being used to describe, like, how they're feeling about a character or something, right? They know the meaning behind it. Like, oh, they're, they're, like, the, this entity in the game is a little suspect. Like, it's gonna be, da like, it's dangerous or whatever. Like, I get it. It's not really about... <clears throat> okay. I am trying so hard to make this point sound, like, not all over the place. <sighs> That's why I love doing these raw episodes, because you can see, like, just how... It, it generally is hard for me sometimes to, um... <coughs> discuss things, talk, but, you know. <coughs> Turn right. Listen, the point is... Give the younger generation a break, yeah? <coughs> I mean, look at where some of us were back then. Half the time, I'm always seeing people online say how wish they wish they could beat the shit out of the younger selves. For good reason. <laughs> but also, for some reason, they're just like... Everybody did that, dude. Turn right. <laughs> like... <coughs> we had Vine at one point for crying out loud. Turn right. We had, um... <laughs> you know what, if we really want to go there, we could say Flipnote on the DS was, was one of those. Just wasn't nearly as um well <coughs> different as it is today with all the stuff that's out right now. <laughs> Granted, there's definitely going to be problems, of course. Like there are parents that rely on phones and iPads to teach their children, Turn right. <coughs> or rather, babysit their children, which is not fair to the child. It's genuinely not fair to the generation that you're just giving shit to because a lot of the time it's not even their At fault. The next intersection, turn right. <laughs> it's just turn genuinely turn bad right. parenting. 
<coughs> if anything, if I'm gonna be like completely honest with you, Turn left. the best way that I would say if you really want to quote unquote fix that kind of behavior, try and the be the person or the kind of person that a kid like that would want to look up to, so it'd be like, yeah, you know what, this person's cool. I want to be more like that person, but make it apparent to let them be themselves. <clears throat> like, okay. I mean, if I had, like, a niece. No, I do have a niece. But I don't really talk to them much, which I really should talk more because they're literally family. Say, like, they needed help with something or, like... You know, they, they just wanted some advice. You just be there for them. I, 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 I'm straight off the top. Like, I went from talking, like, from setting a role model, setting an example for, like, kids on the net so they can better themselves to, like, family. Can I try that again? I should try that again. <clears throat> kids online do have a problem when it comes to parents not teaching them. And honestly, at this point, it feels like the teachings have been, are being dumped on us. We're honestly the influence for the next generation at this point. Because of how little a lot of these kids' parents tend to, like, you know, teach or give them in sort of, in, when it comes to, like, education and stuff. Or attention. <clears throat> so it's no wonder, like, they would find enjoyment in stuff like, like, say, skibbity toilet or, like, you know, all the memes that are out today it gives them something to be happy about that is probably replacing something that they're missing. <clears throat> Yet, yeah, like, I don't think it helps when people just go, oh, well, that kid's talking about skibbity toilet, this and that, oh, that kid's stupid, this and that. Like, no. Come on, man. I, I don't know if this is like. Like me talking because I genuinely want to be a good Turn parent left. in the future. But, like... Oh, you get what I mean, dude. Respect goes a long way on both ends. Even if you're the one that has to start it. <clears throat> like... <sighs> I'm horrible at these talking things, but... I, I do feel... By the way, this is a pretty long race. But then again, slow car. At the next um, intersection, turn right. <sighs> Try and show a little more, you know, empathy to the younger generation. Turn left. I'm not saying you have to tolerate what if they genuinely start treating you like shit. Like by all means, if someone's treating you like shit, no matter what age, right. you should let them know, like, hey, firmly, turn like, right. don't be like that. But. You know, just don't make them feel bad for literally Turn being that age, or that having that be the only thing they're exposed to. Remember not, I mean, forget not too. If they're being raised by their iPads and stuff because their parents, it's the algorithm from YouTube and other sites that's putting content like that in their hands rather than like, you know, actually helpful good content that would help them develop, you know what I mean? It goes a little deeper than that, than just, oh, you're skibbity toilet and joy, you're bad. <clears throat> I think that's the main point I'm trying to get across. You simply... Well, there's nothing more really to say when it comes to that. I mean, crying out loud. <clears throat> Remember when fidget spinners were considered an epidemic? Because everybody in class had them, but then everybody realized, oh, they're literally just helping kids with ADHD. But the only reason they really got unpopular was because of, like, YouTube channels that were complete content farms. And that was the only real justification for it, with the exception of so the, the handful of students who would actually distract class with them on purpose and such. <clears throat> I, think that, I think that makes my point a little more clear, actually. Because that's a little more recent when it comes to us, as in the older generation. I think you'd understand what I mean. <laughs> but nowadays, sometimes I see people 
<sighs> Sorry. Sometimes I there's times I see people out there with fidget spinners sometimes. Rare, but there's probably at home mostly. Because it helps. <clears throat> it's a genuinely nice thing that some people use. I think the true point of this is the internet and people who, you know, parade these ideas on the net. Or in general. Just might not always be true. And it may not always be that deep. It's just... <clears throat> okay. At the next All it really is, right. if you think about it, everything... Oh, like, everything when it comes to, like... <sighs> Again, autism making it hard to explain. Like, not even, like, joking. Like, this is real autism. But... <sighs> How do I get this point across? Jeez. <clears throat> Um, I honestly lost track with what I was saying, but I think the message is clear. Or as clear as I can get it without, like, jumbling all over myself. I mean, it is filler conversation in the middle of an episode, so it's, you know, usually tune out at this point. But, you know. You, to be to be fair, for a game this old, it sure looks pretty turn nice. Left. Turn left. Ooh, spicy. <clears throat> what else could I talk about? I wonder. Off the top of my head, I sound like an absolute fool while doing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Uh, uh. Do you th Hmm... I like the- As Kimi would say, the little hamster's running on the wheel right now trying to come up with an idea of what to talk about. Um... Hmm. I do have a strong opinion on console wars. That's something I could bring up. Because I do see a lot of that still happening online. <laughs> All these years later. <clears throat> and I genuinely say... Why? The console wars are nothing more than just... You know, just a useless way to divide people, honestly. And... Uh oh. Okay, so the game crashed. That's fine, we could just reopen it. <clears throat> but, um. Yeah, let's talk about console wars for a second. Why it's honestly just a worse for everybody. I mean, everybody's already got an idea of why it is. But let's be real it's worthless. There's so much talk about why oh, this console's better because it has all these exclusives. This console's better because, you know, I can wash my balls in the morning or whatever. You know, you know what I mean. It's just like really petty stuff usually. But then there's like legitimate cr critiques, which by all means, actual critiques are nice to hear. Whoops. <clears throat> well, here's the introduction to the police system of the game. If you accidentally tap a car, um, <clears throat> you won't get in trouble At the next too much. If you tap a police car, well, then they'll start a chase. <laughs> and it can escalate really quickly. Turn left. All right, anyways. About Your what I was saying. Like, there are, there are... This is coming from someone that has a love for, like, every console out there, has PC, and I just enjoy it. <coughs> I, you call me a shill all you want, you could say, oh, well, consume this, consume that. Which, by the way, is probably the biggest straw man, in my, in my opinion. I think that- wait, you know what, I don't want to talk out of my ass here. One second. Like... 
have reached your destination. It's probably not a straw man. I'm probably getting that wrong. Fair enough. <clears throat> I'm no... I'm no wizard when it comes to, like, talking, let's be real. Uh, no. We need to go... Huh. It should... Like I said, it should be around here. One second. I know I'm off tra 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 topic, but... Okay. <clears throat> Going on a mini road trip. Is being recalculated. So, um... Alright. Forget the console war discussion. I got I got an entirely different discussion when it comes to, uh... You, you are just a consumer, this and that, which... <clears throat> genuinely such an empty argument to make towards anyone when they're trying to make a point, or like... Say, oh, I enjoy this. I don't know why people are upset about this. <clears throat> One of the most frustrating things to hear is when you're trying to, like, say, Well, I enjoy this because it's fun. I don't need to have, like, a more advanced reason for it. I'm just here to play the game. <clears throat> That's for me to enjoy. That's my business. And then someone goes, oh... <clears throat> consume product, don't ask questions. It's a stupid argument. It's an argument that just completely has no meaning or base to it, and I'll tell you why. When someone complains about you consuming something, or like buying something or whatever, they're exactly in the same boat as you, because more than likely, At the next well, obviously, they've got to purchase something themselves, right? In the same vein, or they ha or have purchased something in the same vein, for the same reason they're giving you shit for, and just wanting to enjoy it. <clears throat> but I think the biggest offender of that quote-unquote argument is the fact that you can complain all you want and say, "Oh, you never, you never question this or that, this or that." <laughs> Ooh. Um. Because I don't- there's people that just don't want to do that, and they don't need that stress in their life. If they have something they're enjoying, right? They got it. And there's no deeper meaning like, oh, you- 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 You're one for the corporations, this and that. That's not it. <clears throat> there's always gonna be someone in place of whoever doesn't want to bother with complaining. Ha having already taken their place. Like, you can say, oh, you're a consumer that doesn't question anything. That's good for- that's good for me because, like, 17 other people on, like, Reddit or something, or wherever else, has already started another complaint form. In my step. Without me even having to be there. Or anybody having to be there. So, like, what's the point? Besides, <coughs> what's even funnier is, when people try and use that argument, they're, they're going under the, uh, the assumption that the person they're even telling this to even has, like, the care to have the entire full knowledge of whatever they're trying to say. You should complain about it. Some people just aren't in the loop because they don't want to be. They just want to have fun. <clears throat> and you don't have to feel bad for just getting a game and not, and not, like, not questioning stuff if you don't feel like you have to. Again. Critics already exist. There's much larger, much larger voices. So why should you, a person that's just been singled out, be told that it has to be on your shoulders that you have to criticize the entire industry, as if you and only you are going to make the massive change that like 17 mil million other people are already on the way to doing. You know what I mean? <coughs> so if someone ever tells you <laughs> that you're a consumer or this and that At the next intersection, because you just enjoy playing games or whatever and you just aren't even in the loop and don't care what's going on just be honest and say I don't need to there's already other people doing it for me and if they get mad at you then that's their problem they're getting mad for something that doesn't even affect them in fact, they're getting mad at something that you are enjoying. Even if they don't think you should. Your destination is 1.5 kilometers away. 
Just be happy, man. Just be happy with what you do. At the next intersection. Enjoy right. what you want to enjoy. Turn right. <clears throat> I mean, of course, it's so long as it's not hurting anybody, your obviously. Is one kilometer away. Like, if you're actively, genuinely supporting something that's horrible and you know it, and then you're supporting it for those reasons, then the there's a problem. Turn left. But if you don't even know what's going on, and you're just like, I, thought this, I thought this game was pretty cool, I just wanted to play it because I like this type of game, then do your what you want. destination is 500 meters away. <clears throat> not everybody has to be involved in, like, like discourse like that. It's just how it is. <coughs> oh goodness. I forgot where um the parts station is. It should be down here actually. Um f no, actually it's not. <coughs> okay. Gonna have to make a Yui. Probably go back down the road. That's how I feel about that argument. <coughs> Not really an argument, just... Ooh, nice. You know. It's just common sense if you sit back and think about it. <coughs> like, damn. You're, like, really giving somebody shit. When you know damn well that person is completely out of the loop and doesn't have that mindset of wanting to be involved with any talks of it. They're just enjoying their own world, their own game. Simple as that. And again, there's other people to do it for them already. Is this what I was looking for? <clears throat> no. Um. Well, that's a European specialist. <laughs> um. Maybe down here? Your itinerary is being recalculated. <clears throat> I can't remember where some of the garages are in this game. At the next intersection, turn left. <sighs> oh well. Surely it should be this one. one kilometer away. I'm hoping I'm not accidentally going to the parts um, part stealer. Because if I am, finding the parts stealer for this car is going to take a while. Because I can't remember. Or I'll just look it up again to save time. Your because why not? <clears throat> you, have you know what I do appreciate? Let's put some positivity in here. What I do appreciate, what me and Kimi absolutely love, is when we check our comments sometimes, we see people just in there. Just chatting it up. Even helping us out to an extent for some games. It's appreciated. We genuinely appreciate the help. You guys know I especially did, considering what was going on with um, <coughs> the uh, Need for Speed Carbon buckle there. Uh, okay, those Japanese imports. I'm not looking for that. Hmm. W one second, let me look up the dealers. I might as well. Right, it was above the airport. <coughs> All the way over here. Like, around this area. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, it's a good thing that we had taken a road there from the airport. Okay, there's no on ramp on the highway from there, but there is back here, so let's try that. Your itinerary is being <coughs> okay. recalculated. Back to what I was saying, though. I'll reword it. Me and Kiwi are really happy to know that there's at least some community in our chat. <coughs> or building up slowly. At the next intersection, turn left. I do. No, we both appreciate genuinely like getting comments and being able to reply to them because it's nice. It's nice to know that there's people we can connect with or that can help us if we're stuck in a certain part of a game. Or hell, if there's just fans of a game that we like in general, and we just go nuts about talking away. about the lore. <clears throat> that's the thing, that's one of the things too about this YouTube channel that we're really happy about. <laughs> like, At the next intersection, YouTube may sometimes right. screw us over when it comes with the al to the algorithm. But when we do 
get new people to uh, that arrive that generally stick around and comment and whatnot and interact. Your it's it's is nice. Two kilometers away. That's the thing we really genuinely like most about the channel second to actually playing the games and making the content. It's the interaction. It's fun. At the next intersection, <coughs> Hell, left. thanks to interaction from the Need Your for Speed series. Um, away. please do forgive me for not remembering names off the top of my head because I am not good with my memory, I'm going to be totally honest. But I do remember who you guys are. At the next intersection, Hell, I even mentioned you guys in the, um, you, you guys know who you are that I'm talking about anyways. I name dropped you, you once again direction. actually in the, um, the final down. part of Need for Speed Carbon. <coughs> Battle Royale. Is this what I'm looking for? There it is. <coughs> and I thank you guys again for the help. Okay. You have the ability to enhance your automobile. Choose now, the upgrade pack that we have so many ways we can upgrade you. this car. However, upgrading could change your vehicle's group. Now, <laughs> all these nice wild ways to make the car look better. <coughs> I have a favorite. Now, we're going with the race category. <coughs> and for $40,000, we can make this car mean. Or for twenty-five, we can increase its group. <laughs> oh boy. So we'll get a performance kit one. And increased our car's group, but that's okay. Check out the interior now, though. Sounds nice. However, we can do better. <laughs> we could make it incredibly fast. <coughs> now, it's classy. But it does move faster than usual now. And we will prove that by going to the first. We can't do that. <coughs> we'll, we'll go to the Asphalt King race, yeah? I forgot if I had something I was talking about, but it's okay. Again, I'm so relaxed right now and mentally drained from the final episode of Carbon today that it's understandable that I won't be able to speak right. But let's see just how much faster we can go with this beauty now. <laughs> well, as you can already tell, we're absolutely moving. <coughs> and it's already horrifying. <coughs> really horrifying, actually. <laughs> I already have to get used to it again, because this car is so powerful now that, um, we wheel spin in third gear. <laughs> or fifth, like right now. <laughs> That's even more horrifying. But that just means we have the power to do whatever we need to now. <laughs> the sense of speed in this game is fun. <laughs> well, in first person. <laughs> At the next Going pretty fast. Oh, I forgot to hit the brakes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was horrifying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, um... Upgrades in this game are very serious for cars. <clears throat> Gotta remember, driving rear-wheel drive. If I stamp on that throttle too hard, we're gonna go for a journey. Oh, here's the jumps I was talking about. Some of them. Those were just minor jumps. <coughs> oh shit. You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. Alright. <laughs> Boy. <coughs> That's crazy. Anyways. Um so we got one of our goals down. <laughs> we have our car upgraded. We're able to go much faster now because of it, which is nice. If you take a look at the um, 
the GPS at the bottom left to see just how much faster we're able to clear a kilometer. <laughs> Almost 300. Now, I am going to be doing something a little crazy <coughs> if I do it fast enough. Probably not, considering we're already now we're five minutes in. <laughs> We've only just upgraded the car now. But after I get the GTO, we're going to give it um, a special upgrade. That's going to make it a little faster than other cars. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly enough, I can control it to a degree because... <laughs> oh boy. Well, some nice open roads to really get your car pumping out the speed. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh, if I could keep it in one, sh in one piece at least. Don't want to spin out and absolutely demolish this thing. <coughs> okay. I closed my eyes for a second. We almost spun out. <laughs> well. Looks like we're almost there already. Whoa. <laughs> it, it is really scary driving this game at the speed, especially with a real wheel drive like this. You will not have a good day if you wreck. That bump in the road? Thankfully, no. Oh boy, that is... Alright, get ready for what I was talking about! Oh my god! <laughs> it's horrifying! <clears throat> There's some roads that have multiple bumps in succession! You are driving in the wrong direction. Oh boy. Please turn around. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah. Oh jeez, we're really far ahead. Not slow down, because there will be turns like that where you can just jump right off. Because you don't realize just how fast you're going sometimes. <laughs> Boy. Pretty good turn though, doing pretty good. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know that we have a nice reliable Fast car right now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> How to eat your own words by absolutely destroying the car. Whatever, it's fine. Now, we are going to go finish this race right now because there's a checkpoint. <sighs> nice. Beep beep. And we've done it. I'd say that's a good payout. <coughs> okay. <laughs> now let's get a little more. Let's get, um... Hmm. That's not too long. That's a good amount of money. I think it works. Okay. I've kind of already run out of talking points, so now it's just, you know, <clears throat> driving, racing, not the Supra. Get out of my way, slow poke. Slowing down, trying to slow me down. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> okay. Well, easy now. I don't want to run him off the road, because that'd be rude. He probably just did, darn. Oh god, here's another one. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Jeez. This stretch of road seems awfully for me. Oh, 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 That was scary. In fact, this is quite a familiar road. I did the same thing last time. Okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just feel so relaxed playing this one. <laughs> this is very nice. And the cars sound nice too. <laughs> oh boy. I've done it again. 
You are driving in the wrong direction. Please turn around. There we go. Oh, we're only one kilometer away. Oh no, wait, this is our second checkpoint. Never mind. Damn, family of four. Wasted immediately. Point crawl moment. <clears throat> we're still in sixth? Oh dear. Well, sometimes that happens. But the sun confused me, not gonna lie. There's no sun there. I got blinded. I wasn't paying attention. I'm losing focus because I'm so... <sighs> I'm not even relaxed anymore. I'm just plain all tired. I know it's the third time I'm going to mention it, but... That Need for Speed Carbon, that final episode, took a lot out of me. <clears throat> oh, well. It's good enough. We could do this. I mean, we got this car upgraded, right? So that's already part one. That was a great weave. Oh my goodness. It's an odd intersection. That's a drive through. Oh boy. You are driving in the wrong direction. No, I'm trying to hit the checkpoint. Thank you. And I suggest we start moving before the cavalry gets here. There we go. Oh, the last checkpoint's up ahead. It's not even that far. <laughs> well, by all means, we better get there fast. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. These roads are horrifying! <laughs> Jeez. Well... It's a good thing we finished this one. <coughs> nice. Hmm. Uh, one second. Sadly, it didn't count that race as being completed. Kind of sad. But, um... <coughs> you know, whatever, right? Not gonna lose any sleep over it. <clears throat> what I am gonna do though is set a marker for a very far place. We're all the way up here. <laughs> now that is a long Your way to go. Is being recalculated. <clears throat> 52 kilometers. We're now officially on a road trip. <clears throat> and it's actually going to take us a while to get there. So just sit back, relax. And yeah. If we can at least get the car, that's one thing. <laughs> I'll put it like that. The car is important. Because again, it used to be Dad's favorite car. So by all means, let's just do what we gotta do. Because we gotta do it. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay. <laughs> well. Hopefully we don't have too much traffic or else we're gonna have a police chase. It's not gonna be fun to deal with. At the next intersection, turn right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I think they're gonna make us take the highway for this. This is gonna be much faster this way. Turn left. Nope. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well. We'll just stamp that throttle to the ground until we get there, I guess. <laughs> Simple as. Hey, we do get to take the highway. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, for scale of this game. 
everything, all those long races we did, we literally just scratched, like, corners of the map. We're not even past the airport yet. All that highway we were just on, we have to go all the way, or we're just gonna take a straight line across. So... <clears throat> let's get to it. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. What else did I talk about, I wonder? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I, re I really don't know what to talk about. Actually, you know what? I think I do. <clears throat> I think it's a joke. That you can have, like, a Willy's Jeep. Straight from the military, not even military, I mean like, you know the ones, you know, the ones I'm talking about, the ones are literally rusting out the bottom. From like, I, don't, I can't even remember how many years ago, I can't remember the number, since World War II, <laughs> and legally drive that around safely, even though it has like no safety features, period. <clears throat> but um, if you were to import a K truck, for example, um, you'd be screwed over. In the states i never understood that like i know it's supposed to be like oh it's so competitors can't yada yada why do you think that that happens like i'm not gonna say i know the law of their 100 percent but i will say this if you're regulating competition and banning people from buying competition Maybe instead of banning the competition, you should work to be better than said competition. I, I imagine that would cost a lot less, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just feels like a common sense thing. It's a fact, too, that people still prefer, like, the... Oh, I don't know, is it supposed to be 20-year-old or, like... 30. I can't remember how many years old the vehicle has to be before the U.S. is like, yeah, sure, you can use it. If it's imported. <clears throat> but, like, well, you know. You are driving in the wrong direction. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Just on the top right of the screen. But, um, yeah, no, I could be entirely undereducated about this, but it's, it's weird to hear. Cause there's been a few times down my own street where I've seen some people with K trucks. They were they were pretty cool. They they look like they fit on the road just fine. <coughs> Sweet thing too. It looked like it was tuned up for some special uh, events. If you catch my drift, I mean, where I live, there's a lot of um, people who enjoy racing. Believe it or not. Hell, some of my neighbors have really tuned up cars, which are. Not gonna lie, real nice to look at. <laughs> but yeah. It just sucks, man. Like, if you're gonna block quote unquote competition instead of just <laughs> working at being better, it's, it's, just, it's just a waste of money. Just do, do better. Simple. Like, it shouldn't matter how much it's gonna cost. If you do something that's gonna be worth it, people are gonna pay for it, what's worth it. <sighs> I don't know. That's get but that's getting dangerously close to talking about, uh... Well, other things, and that's not- that don't belong in this channel. So we're not gonna- I'm only saying it for the aspect of cars. And like, it's just one of those weird laws that doesn't really make sense for, like, anything, or anyone. It doesn't really benefit. <coughs> Whoa! Whoa! Listen, when I get too relaxed like this, sometimes I just start talking about random things that nobody- some people may not even care about. That's okay. It fills the void, right? Besides, these aren't dangerous topics or anything. They're safe for YouTube. They're safe for the mind. It's not like anybody's gonna be upset by these.
the topics I try to come up with are like, like at least try to be relatable, so it's something that other people can jump into and be like, oh yeah, well, here's the thing about that, or here's the thing about this. And it just becomes a legit discussion. It doesn't always have to... It's just, it's just fun. Discussion is fun. I know I'm yapping like crazy right now, but... <laughs> what are you gonna do, right? It's a chill soda. I'm just chilling out, talking about stuff that's worth talking about. Why limousines have that little wing on the back? I know it's to be fancy, but it's kind of goofy, silly. I mean, look at the thing. <laughs> silly little things like that. <coughs> By the way, I think we're only like halfway there, even after all that yapping. <laughs> we got a little bit to go. And we've been hammering it down the whole time. You've noticed. Man, if this were anything realistic, we would have cooked the engine long ago with this car. <laughs> like the way we're pushing it. Oh my god. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired right now. All, everything in my head that I would know about engines and stuff and whatnot, it's just not in my head right now. Tell you what, though, it'd be really unfortunate if a cylinder just fired out the hood as we were driving down the highway like this. <laughs> oh man, never finding that again. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't my fault. I mean, it was, but shut up. Hey, traffic's getting dense here. Are we still on the highway? Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, Forza players would go nuts for highways this long. Could you imagine? Judgingly eyes the this space that would probably have to take. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was unfortunate. Come on now. <sighs> Hey, there's some crawling up behind us. Sounds like a viper or a vet. Oh no, don't crash. I want to see what your car looks like. That's a vet. Well. Thanks for coming to visit. I must go now. Whoa! <laughs> that is... Damn. Whoops. <laughs> That's not good. You know, we can get the Viper that we used in Carbon to save our ass in one of the dealers up the road. Well, where we're going, at least. It's a Chevy dealer that... No. It's a Dodge dealer that does have it. Chevy dealer. Come on, man. That is so basic. How did you get that wrong? <clears throat> okay. Woo! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Jeez. Well, we're getting there. Whoa, my God, that was almost horrifying. <laughs> Literally nightmare fuel. Jeez. Hey, does anybody uh, know the horror YouTuber Poised? 
I've always wondered how he gets every single game he gets his hands on in VR somehow. I wonder if it's Vorpex or something, I don't know. But he can get like any game I've seen him play in VR and... Quite frankly, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I wonder if it's as simple as using the big screen. On Steam. <laughs> I don't know. By the way... For any of you who have a VR headset and use the computer with it on Steam mod, uh, did you know? You should probably see how much GPU that the, uh, uh, Steam VR is using, because you would be shocked to find out how much that thing's cooking through your GPU. <coughs> I've got a solution for that, though. And let me see what that solution is real quick. Alright, it's called... Open Composite. All one word. It's a program that lets you um, <coughs> switch the runtime for your VR programs on the spot. So that way, your games will actually run. Like, I tried to get into the radius to run without that program for the longest time, and my goodness. <laughs> um, could not put the game on high settings for the life of you, or the game would literally lag in place, freeze, and you'd have to restart your computer and headset. Um, <coughs> oh, the, the program I just mentioned, you literally just have to hit one button, and it'll replace the DLL and fix it so you don't open Steam VR. Granted, it doesn't work for every game, because, you know, sometimes some just do need Steam VR to open, unfortunately. But, for the games it does work with, I tell you what, man, it feels like... It, it, it's scary how much of a difference it is, considering before I could barely even look around and um, into the radius without something going wrong or the crashing. And then using the program, and with one click I've got like 60 frames a second every time over the game, no issue whatsoever. Like, the entire game. At the next intersection, turn right. <clears throat> it's amazing what some people are able to do. Hey, <laughs> we're getting close. <clears throat> you know what's crazy? <laughs> I haven't lost any money on the way here. <laughs> we haven't gotten any police fines. The hell was that? Okay, well. <clears throat> we haven't gotten any fines from the police. We haven't been pulled over. Sweet. We have 91 grand on hand. That should be enough for the GTO. <laughs> Which is awesome. Ooh, ooh, easy, okay. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. <clears throat> now then. Oh, oh, oh. Easy now. Your destination is three kilometers away. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, it's just a little scrape. You'll be fine. Turn right. Okay. Turn right. Tried to be a little cheeky and do a drift. Turns out I spun right up. We're an hour and 28 minutes into this episode. Surely we should be able to get the parts for the GTO like I really want to. I mean, what? Well, we can't upgrade a GTO in this game. Totally not. It's it's a uh, it's it's one of those cars that you know it's not special enough like in modern games that has like super crazy upgrades that can no totally not you know <coughs> your destination is one kilometer you know how cars are in racing games with customization it's only the really special popular ones usually that people uh, upgrade yeah <laughs> oh who am I kidding this episode is gonna have a great ending. Your destination. There we are. Well, now we actually have to see if it's in stock. The classic car dealer is restocked regularly. However, some automobiles are rare and less available than others. Well, let's hope we're lucky. Guess what? We are. It's in a cream color this time. Okay. Well. I 
she is. Me and Dad's favorite GTO. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, um, we don't have the money yet to do what we want. That's okay. This episode, we can make the money. I just have to do a race. Um, I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> oh, where's the one I'm thinking of? Unless I don't have it unlocked yet. No. No. That's not it. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright then, for now, we're gonna have to do this one. Ow. You know what, let's take the GTO out for a spin. And... Okay. Darn. Well. That just means... We'll take the Nissan out again. <clears throat> Alright. Eight kilometers is nothing compared to the 51 that we just did. So it should be fine. Get a good amount of money for what we need. That was a massive pile up, didn't like that. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's get a move on. Nice to know we can blitz down the road this fast. Whoa! <laughs> okay. This is sweet, you know. This is very sweet. <laughs> I love it. I know we're doing the same race again. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's a good amount of money for now, okay? <clears throat> Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Not crash. It just stop working the menu. Oh well. We'll see. <laughs> it should work fine though. And I don't think I need too much money for what I'm trying to do for the car, at least. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> that hurt a lot. Okay. <sighs> I haven't felt stressed a single time. Surprised, yeah, but no stress. Whoops. <laughs> that one was on me. These guys are going to catch up, like, any second, and that's entirely my fault, actually. <laughs> oh, well. You notice we actually have breathing room if we drive okay? <laughs> Unlike a certain other game. We're not going to talk about that mod anymore, actually. Whoa! Well. That is some abysmal driving, and they're nowhere near close to us. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Okay, from what I just saw, I think it's possible for us to be able to perform a four-wheel drift in this game. <laughs> or, shatter every single molecule of glass in our rear window against a light pole, that works too. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. <clears throat> Easy. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> We're fast and furious. <laughs> fast and furious and horrible at driving, so we should probably get better at that. Man, 
man, I really gotta not suck at this. <laughs> They're gonna catch up and I'm gonna lose. <clears throat> Maybe that's just me getting tired. <sighs> okay. Hey, we did it! Cool. We have 56 grand. I, I think we actually have enough to uh, do what we need to do. <laughs> Maybe. We'll go see. First, we gotta go home. Hmm. <coughs> Hello there. How you doing? And we'll just jump straight to the part slot. <laughs> Perfect. That'd be a pleasant surprise here. There you go. Okay. Can we? We don't have enough money for that. Um. <coughs> but you could see what we're going for. And I think that says more than enough. We should do the Asphalt King race again. <coughs> we'll take the Nissan. That's what, 40, 40 grand for us right there? Yeah. Maybe do that twice, we'll have enough. <laughs> okay. <coughs> we might have to stun by four to two hour mark. Two, one, <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let's not waste any time. <laughs> Let's do this. 17 kilometers of pure high-octane action. <laughs> okay, then. If I need to. <laughs> I would also appreciate it if I didn't do that, but, you know. <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> okay. I didn't like that sound. Sorry, fellers, but I need to win this fast. Turn left. Turn left. <laughs> what kind of car is that? Oh, that's Jeep. Let me slipstream real quick. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Don't even need it. I sounded like it was diesel. At the next intersection, turn right. Whoop! So turn right, not spin right. Yep, I'm losing focus. I'm starting to get tired. If I can't even do a simple right turn with this Nissan, then by all means. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting tired. Or I already am tired, it's just... I, we need to finish this. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to right now. I can just simply go rest right now, but where's the fun in that when we're so close, right? Now, the upgrade was $160,000. Pretty, pretty pricey. <laughs> but, what I want to do with it is completely understandable. And <laughs> you might think me a little nutty for it, but it's a benefit. It's also going to be the scariest thing you've ever seen in your life. Considering how fast the cars go in this game, and, uh... <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe comment a car you like down below. Maybe we'll find one. <laughs> Who knows? Near 900 new cars in the game that already has a good amount in it? I don't know, man. I get lucky. <coughs> Boy. Let me open the window. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah.
How do I close that window? It's getting too loud in here. And now I'm frozen. I promise you, I'm not bored. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely having fun playing this. <laughs> I mean, come on. <clears throat> the progress I'm trying to make has actually almost been made already. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Catch yourself there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Careful now. Hey, we stay on the road this time. Woohoo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Closing in. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, too fast. Oh, just a, just slightly. <laughs> oh well. Hey, how much do we have on us right now? Not gonna tell us. Fair enough. Oh well. <laughs> that was a little bit of a slip up, but we're okay. No, we're more than okay. I know the racing seems easy in this game, but I can promise you there are some SUVs that absolutely keep up with this car like it's nobody's business. Ah, <sighs> we just need one more, I think. Or is it two? It's gonna be like 1.30, I think, if we do it. <laughs> Boy. Surely there's gotta be something more than that, right? How much was that again? No, it's not that one. Not that one. No. Wait, what? I, I need something with a really good payout. I need something that's just a wham bam thank you ma'am of money. <sighs> I don't think we're gonna get that. Well... Maybe if we do this one twice. Sure, why not? Oh wait, Your isn't this a... Uh... Is oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's go! Turn right. Hook right, there we go. Oh wait, is this the event that I think it is? Because if Your so, oh boy. Is <laughs> this is going to be fun. The next intersection, turn left. Oh dear, this might exactly be what I'm thinking it is. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it isn't. <laughs> well, by all means. <laughs> it's not that long of a race. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. This may be the same road I'm thinking of, though. <laughs> we'll see in the turns. <laughs> Wait! No! This is definitely it! Because these straight roads got two hops and there's tight turns up ahead. Another hop. <laughs> Another one, and then you immediately hit the brakes. Yep, because that'll happen if you don't. Okay. 
<laughs> but I think it is a different track. <laughs> Jeez. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. No, wait. Oh, I don't know. I'm not connecting the wires in my brain right now. Nope, this might be the track I am thinking of actually. Recognize that building. And this turn too, yep. This one has a race on it that lets you do a lap knockout and it's crazy. I had a grand fight with an SUV with this Nissan, tuned the same way. <laughs> that thing kept up. I <laughs> the push it to get past it. Not like, the, not physically push the uh, Jeep, I mean like, or whatever it was. I mean like, I physically had to match up with the guy. <coughs> yep, this is the same track. So now I know which area to go with the O2 to do that race again. Wow. <laughs> Here we go! I remember the track, at least. I don't think we need to hold back too much. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> See? I don't need to hold back, because I remember what to do. Mostly. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Turn right. This is going well. <coughs> It's going very well. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. <laughs> I do like the setup of this track, it's pretty nice. <laughs> I will admit. <clears throat> Gives you a little risk versus reward, if you know what I mean. There's a risk. Okay. Are those the other racers? <laughs> I think we're about to lap some of them. At the next intersection, turn left. <laughs> Boy. Turn left. Hey fellas, how's it hanging? See ya. Adam. <laughs> hey, this is pretty good. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> doing this track in record time. Turn right. And look, I don't need to hit speed breaker every 15 milliseconds to keep the car going straight. Or stay on a turn. <laughs> it's wonderful, really. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Victory! That's perfect. <laughs> nice. How much do we get? Okay, we have 128,000. Uh, we can do a quick one to get the 160, I think. Too little. Oh. We'll finish off with Asphalt King at a nice 40 grand and then we'll uh, get the upgrade that we need. Ah, my shoulder. Didn't realize how tense stuff it was. Jeez. Three, two, one, go! 
Here we go. <laughs> the last race until we're able to afford the parts for the car. <laughs> Sweet. All right. <laughs> well, let's not keep you guys waiting. <laughs> let's get what we came for. Uh, spinal fracture is not what we're looking for. <laughs> Damn. All right, Eddie, I'll catch up. Give me a second. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Jeez, we smoke these tires. Hey, Eddie, let me pick pockets from speed from you, yeah? There you go. At the next intersection, turn right. Oops. Damn! I appreciate a reset system that lets you have a rolling start. Always been a fan of that. No, no, really, it is so nice to have a reset feature like that. <laughs> Boy. Just resetting in the middle of a race and then it's like, it's like you're not even moving kills the momentum of your thought process while racing anyways. Uh, I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing so good. Oh well. No you don't. Yes you do. <laughs> okay. I understand you want to be ahead. Well, I, I don't agree. There it is. The draft thing I was telling you about. It's doing it right now. <laughs> it works. Because even we don't do that. But then when you do... Did you hear it? <laughs> going slightly past the rev limiter. So there is draft in this game. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Actually, this might be the perfect place to test. You don't have to know what I'm going to test. Not yet. That's for the end of this episode. Because I know damn well we're actually going to be able to do this now. <laughs> it's just taking a little bit. Ah, <laughs> whatever. You know what? I'm going to lay back. And I'm just going to relax. This is pretty good. Don't worry, like I said, uh, we will get to a point where... Well... We'll have to start trying. We're so early on in, but I made sure to get enough money to really spice up the uh, competition, if you get what I mean. And by competition, I mean my own cars. Because at this very moment, we are our only competition. For now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Always a scary moment there. That was pretty nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's this one I always mess up on. Midair drift. There we go. <laughs> Work. Nice. <laughs> oh, two kilometers away? Sweet. <coughs> Forgot to slow down on this one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay then. There's two more turns and we're fine. Two more turns and a horrible spin out and we're fine. Jeez. 
Okay. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Perfect. All right. <laughs> That's all the money we needed. Now let's go to our garage. Now, within two hours, we've actually did it. In two hours, we've completed our goal of doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> that is very sweet. With what, like four minutes to spare? Jeez! There we go. <clears throat> now you're probably wondering, <laughs> what the hell's the point of that? We go a little faster, I guess. No, no, no. We have a Group A car now. That's the difference. You see? Oh. What? No, no, don't go there. That's what we're trying to do. We are trying to go to all Group A challenges. Well, the ones we are looking for aren't here, but let's give a little demonstration. <laughs> oh boy. You're not ready. One, go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Know what the best part is? It works proper. <laughs> you just gotta control it right. That's about it. Quite scary, but you get it. Right. <laughs> okay. Turn left. Okay. Here we go. It's <laughs> just that horrifying bit of acceleration. At the next intersection, turn left. <laughs> oh boy. Turn the brakes left. are a blessing on this car. I'll just put it to that. Yeah! Okay! <laughs> Too fast already. Not fast enough. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now we can have some fun! Come on! Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Not too much fun or we're gonna wreck. But down here we can! <laughs> here we go! The next intersection, turn left. <sighs> Not quite all the way. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, too fast. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> there we are. I love it. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. <laughs> okay. This was just a straight shot. Here we go! Oh man. Oh jeez, oh man, oh jeez. Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Gotta love it. <sighs> now, before we really go, let's take this on the stretch of road. 
just so we can show you. We've hit the two armor mark, but let's show you just how fast this thing could go. Allow me. <laughs> Boy. Ow. <laughs> well, you can already tell. Uh, this thing's a monster. And you can turn if you're careful enough. Or insane enough. Or your reaction time's okay enough! That person... Is made of soup now. <laughs> oh boy. Tell you, man, these cars really move when you want them to. Oh god, here we go. No, I don't. I got the fastest car in the universe. We're fine. <laughs> don't think you could catch up with this. Just say it. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys already know that this car is going to be impossible to catch. Well. <clears throat> that. Was. The episode. We got everything we wanted to get done. We got our two main vehicles. So thank you everybody for watching. Take care. And have a good one. Bye.